The one thing that most women are consuming way too much of is refined sugars. And you might not think that you are consuming sugar because you're not maybe eating it. But if you read the ingredients on the majority of food products in the supermarket, they all contain some kind of sugar. And often the words are hidden under different names. So you are being fooled to think that you're actually being healthy when in reality is you're not because you are still consuming too much sugar. Now, when it comes to hormones, sugar is a feeder of chronic inflammation. The more sugar you feed your body with, the more inflammation you get. When you have too much inflammation, you also then create gut dysbiosis, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, problems with the microbiome. And when this happens, you end up with imbalanced hormones because you are consuming too much sugar. Now, the problem with sugar as well, you also increase estrogen and you end up with symptoms of PMS, PMDD, you also encourage things like fibroids to grow, cysts, and conditions such as endometriosis because endometriosis is linked to the gut microbiome. We're feeding our body with too much of this. As in my book, Beauty in the Gut, the chapter is sugar is poison. It does not serve us well at all. It increases aging, it increases wrinkles of the skin, and it destroys your hormones, it causes autoimmune diseases, and also it steals the nutrition that you need to make your hormones. And one of those necessary minerals that you need to make your hormones is magnesium. We need to have magnesium in our body to be able to make our hormones, such as the thyroid hormones. And we also need it to eliminate the dirty estrogen out through our bowel. So every time you eat sugar, you are losing magnesium. Not only that, you're not eating any foods rich in magnesium because the soil is so depleted. So many women are walking around saying, my hormones suck and not realizing because no one teaches us when we're young that our diet is contributing to the chronic inflammation which is driving hormone imbalances for many of us we become addicted to sugar because sugar is something that makes us feel better so when it's our period we tend to go to sugar because you know we feel uh being the word we feel awful and we need to have that little bit of a boost to boost boost our mood and make us feel good and that's where sugar comes into it and i know for me that's what i used to do my period would come i have symptoms i feel awful sugar it is sugar makes me feel better but we're only making the problems worse so we're losing our magnesium and we're not eating the diets to fuel our hormones. We're eating dairy, we're eating gluten, we're eating all these vegetable oils in the foods today. Everything is, to everything is toxic that we're polluting our body with. Everything from the foods we consume to the to toxins that we apply to our skin. We are destroying ourselves and we're not doing it on purpose, some of us. We just don't know any better. And this is why I've put this hormone course together for people to help you understand the reason behind why you have hormonal chaos. And diet is the major player, but it's also to do with the toxins as well. So in the course, I am going into great detail how to detoxify your body. And you have to detoxify your body daily. It's not just a one-time thing. You have to do it all the time because there's too many toxins everywhere around us. And, you know, we're never gonna be completely perfect because as I say, there are too many toxins, but it's empowerment for you so that you don't end up with premenopause symptoms, menopause, PMS, aging skin. And your reproductive health gets inflamed, just like everything else gets inflamed because of diet and these envir environmental toxins, the xenoestrogens and heavy metals and going into the binders and things as well that you need to take to remove these these heavy metals and you have to take them every day i do this i take them every single day this is a lifestyle for me because i've had an autoimmune disease and when you've obviously had a health condition you are going to have to change if you want something so badly you will do anything in possible power that you have to make these changes so if you still eat the things that are making you sick you don't really want to get better you don't really want this. I made the choices to become better with my diet. And you know, there are still things that I do that I know I shouldn't be doing, but I don't eat sugar. I don't eat dairy. I don't eat gluten because I know they will create inflammation in my body. And I've had quite a few clients with infertility as well. 
Remember, you have to create an internal environment for a baby to grow. And I know there are some lucky women out there who eat really bad, they drink alcohol, they smoke, they take drugs, and they do everything possibly wrong, and yet they end up having a baby. And, you know, it's not fair. It really isn't. But some of us have to just work a little bit harder to create something if we want to have that so much. So things like sugar can create infertility and sugar can be coming from alcohol. Sugar can be coming from whatever else, processed foods and sugar in drinks and whatever it is, you know, you have to eliminate them. And the thing with sugar as well, so it raises cortisol. When you raise cortisol, you lower progesterone. When progesterone lowers, progesterone is what is needed to make a baby. So you need to stop eating the things that are causing your problems. In my online hormone course, I've gone into the pituitary gland where the hormones, some of the hormones are coming from. Now there's a signal from the gut microbiome. So as with everything, if the gut microbiome is inflamed, there can be a signaling issue going on in the brain. So it doesn't release some of your hormones, as example, progesterone. So by continuing eating these things that are bad, you are creating a heck of a lot of inflammation in the body. And this is where the problems lie from. So it's, it's not rocket science. It's, you know, like doctors make everything sound so complicated and yet it's not. It's literally everything is rooted in chronic inflammation. That is the root cause. I've said that in Beauty in the Gut. I've said that in Health Empowerment. It's probably in my How to Beat COVID book as well. Everything is rooted from chronic inflammation. And that is what we need to eliminate. So I've worked solidly for the last six years, combining a lot of information together to make the most empowering women's health course on hormones. I have covered everything from premenstrual syndrome to PMDD to endometriosis to fibroids to cysts to premenopause to menopause. Every single hormone, estrogen, progesterone, cortisol, DHEA, um, melatonin, how to slow down aging as well, hair loss, brain fog, the symptoms of anxiety, the depression, and the hot sweats. I have covered the detoxification processes, the liver, the gut microbiome, your kidneys, your adrenals. There is not one single course out there that contains the information that I have put together in this online hormone course for women's empowerment. My reason for doing this is because I wish someone would have took me by my hand when I was 18 and said, don't go for that radioactive iodine treatment. Don't go for it. Do it this way. Do the alternative road and heal naturally so that you don't have to go through the destruction of the thyroid, be left on medication for the rest of your life, feel freezing cold all the time because your body just never warms up because you depend on medication that just doesn't do anything at all other than, you know, hide a few symptoms. And that's why I'm like, I. Everything in this hormone course is what I do. I take all the supplements, I do all the detox protocols, um, I'm cleaning up all the detox toxins that I use on my, my skincare, which is why I'm the, the Tropic Ambassador for them because their products are beautiful. I love them so much. Um, you have to take ownership for your own health. I have also done a chapter on breast cancer, other cancers as well that are driven by estrogen dominance and things that you need to take to stop breast cancer. And also the, of course, elimination of toxins because toxins build up, you get the development of cancers and stop eating the foods that fuel it. Again, back to sugar, sugar, dairy, gluten, etc. the foods that are in beauty in the gut basically. Um, that's also in there. You just have absolutely everything. I did see a post on TikTok recently about itchy ears. Itchy ears, what are you eating? Come on, clean up your diet. There could be a million symptoms. You just need to stop eating the foods that are giving you symptoms. There could be something like dairy. Dairy causes itchiness. So if you are eating dairy and you're listening to this, stop eating dairy. If you're eating no dairy, each, what's the sugar content you're having? Is it alcohol? Is it processed food? Is it vegetable oils? What are you eating? Anyways, my hormone course is scheduled for release sometime in 2025, hopefully not near the end of the year, but it will be in 2025. That's where I'm scheduled to release it. 
And those who do not have my books, especially Beauty and the Gut and Health Empowerment, I am going to be referring to those books throughout the course because you still have to follow what's in those books in order to be able to balance your hormones naturally. We do not need medications, but if that's the road that you choose and desire to be on, then that is your path for you. This is for women who do not want to go on medications or any other kind of synthetic hormones. This is for women who want a natural road, as I do, because I already have to take medication for my thyroid. I do not want to take any more synthetic medications, but that's just me. That's what I want for my body. And I'm sure there will be other women who are like me, so I'm doing this for you.